Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I'm giving you a quick guide video on everything that you need to know about horses in Black Desert Mobile because there's actually quite a lot of things and a lot of in-depth things when it comes to the horses in this game that you guys may not know about. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and summon our horse, which obviously you can do by clicking on the icon in the top left. There's my horse, I summoned it. I can then mount my horse, I can check out its info and inventory, or I can bond with my horse. Now you guys may not know this, but your horses have a special buff called a bond skill. When you summon them, you can click on the bond and then look at that. I just gained a bond effect, which gives me a little bit of a buff for my character. Now you can actually make those bond effects even stronger. And there are certain items which will automatically activate that bond effect when you do summon your horse that are available in the cash shop, which they actually just gave out a bunch of that stuff for free. So some of you guys may be noticing that effect going on right now. So let's actually go ahead and check out the info for my horse. Now they gave everybody a free skin for the horse, the equip barding or a skin for your specific horse, which looks amazing. He looks so cool. Now, when it comes to your horses, like I said, you have a bond effect. You've also got other special effects, special skills that the horse has, which you can have a total of, I believe five of these, depending on the tier level of your specific horse. Now, regardless of what tier level your horse is, the maximum level a horse can get to is level 10, which we're gonna get into that a little bit later because it's actually kind of important. Also, you guys know about movement speed, which is easy. The higher the movement speed is, the faster your horse will go. Now, your horse also has an inventory, so if you're out you know, gathering and you don't wanna take the time to have to head back into the camp, you can actually go and drop some of your inventory items here in your horse's inventory, and then you can continue your questing or whatever it is that you're doing at the time. Now, most of the information that is behind the horse is actually gonna be found at your base's camp. Now, in order to get your very first horse, you're gonna be just playing through the main quest line and it's going to teach you how to capture and how to acquire a horse for yourself. Now, after that, I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of go through and get even more horses, what you need to know, where to find them and what items that you need in order to capture the horse. Now you're gonna unlock a stable in your main camp. Now the higher up you upgrade your stable, the more horses that you can actually have stored. Now this is really important. Now this is something that I kind of neglected and it's something that I'm kind of catching up on right now, but it's to go through and capture as many horses as you can and to go through and ride those horses kind of switching in and out and leveling up, up to level 10. Because in order to breed your horse, you have to take two horses of the same tier and they both have to be at level 10. You can then breed them together and it will give you a horse of the next tier up, which is what I did in order to get this spotted horse. Now I'm gonna go through and level up my cool horse, which is the first horse I ever got, and I'm gonna go and capture a brand new horse. I'm gonna level both of them up, breed them together, get myself a tier two, take that tier two, my spotted horse tier two, breed those guys together to get myself a tier three. Now the higher up the tier, the better the bond buffs and the better skills you're gonna be able to acquire. Now, this tier three right here basically just increases these bond buffs. Now, the bond buff is randomized on your horse when you go and breed them, but it is possible to go and buy a coupon, which you can then exchange in order to uh, randomize that buff. Now, I haven't been able to find out if you can buy it with black pearls or if it's just a, you know, something that you have to buy using real money. I haven't been able to find it, but according to the guide, they're available in the pearl shop. The same thing goes for skills. The skills that your horse actually has equipped um, will be randomized as you go through and you breed them. Now, the other thing is you can go through, if you want, you can exchange tickets to go and change the look of your horses. The higher tier your horse is, the more looks that you have available for your specific horse. Some of them look really, really weird. And again, here's the changing skill. You get these horse bond coupons. It does look like you may get a few of these just for free, because I've actually never spent money on this and I already have two of them. But you can go through and you can exchange it for different bonds and normal skills. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and actually capture ourselves a horse. So in order to capture yourself a horse, you do need to be in a main town and you need to go talk to the, the pet tamer or the pet outpost person. Right here is this guy. Now, if you click on your map up in the top left and you expand it, Look for the person that has like the cow head next to their name. If you go ahead and click on that, your character will auto move to them and then you can open up their pet shop. Now the pet shop will give you a variety of different things that you need for capturing a horse. The two main things you're gonna need is a horse taming rope and some raw sugar. Now I've already got a couple of these, so we're gonna use those and go and capture ourselves more horses. But again, I do recommend trying to capture as many as you can early on. So use them, level them up, cause you'll be able to pretty much bypass all the, uh, all the time I have to spend now in order to kind of catch up on upgrading my horses. So once you've got these, you're gonna need to find yourself a horse. The best way to do that is to head on over to your map, go to whatever area that you're in and click on one of the area, oh, not Calpheon, I'm not in Calpheon, the, the neutral border zones where I'm at, and then find a location that's relatively close to where you are. Now the Karanda Ridge, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, 
actually shows that there is a wild horse capture area here that I can now go and find horses. Now, not every area is gonna have that. Some have hostile monster territories. That one did not have a horse I can go and tame. So just go and look, this is a fishing zone, hostile, let's see, what else do we see? There's not a whole lot of areas. Look, there's another wild horse capture area. If I want to go there, I can find a wild horse. But we're going to go to the Coronda Ridge because it's the closest one. We're going to auto path. My horse is going to help me uh, auto path to this area. Now, it's actually pretty easy to find the horses, but the mini game can be kind of challenging. It's still something that I haven't really perfected yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can't capture ourselves a horse and uh, add it to our collection. So once you've gotten into a new area, what you're going to do is pop open your, uh, your map up on the top left. And you'll see these icons on the map, a horse with like a horseshoe. That is where you can go and you can capture yourself a horse. So we're going to go and move ourselves up here. And look at that. There's a horse right there. Super easy. Okay, here we go. We're going to go over to this horse. We're going to try to, to tame this horse. Throw that down. Oh my gosh, I have to get, sorry, I messed that up. I meant, no, get back here, horse. Oh my gosh. So that's what happens when you mess up on trying to capture a horse. But we're okay, because now we're going to go ahead and find ourselves a second horse that we can capture, which is just up here. And hopefully not butcher this one, because I totally messed up. Oh, oh, there's one right there. Perfect. I'm going to hop off our mount. We're going to see if I can't capture this horse, because again, I messed up the last time. Capture it, and then we're going to have to move ourselves a little bit closer. Get closer to the horse. Got to Got to wait. Got to be patient. You don't want to. You don't want to spook it. Get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. Okay. Now I can go ahead and I can feed it some sugar, giving it some raw sugar. The raw sugar will actually help increase the odds of me actually being able to capture the horse. Now let's go ahead and tame the horse. Okay. Now we have to move. Oh gosh. This is, this is actually really, really difficult to do while playing on a keyboard and mouse. So we got to keep it in the green area for a certain amount of time. And then it's going to swap to a new place. Oh, it didn't swap this time. Okay, good. Keep it there. Keep it there. And there we go. We just got ourselves a tier two horse for free. Um, I don't know what to, let's Franklin, I guess Franklin's a good name for a horse. And there we go. We just captured ourselves a brand new horse. This was a tier two horse, which we can then go and breed with. Uh, if we head back to our camp, we can, we're gonna have to level it up. We're gonna have to take it out, ride it around, level it up, and then we can breed it with our other tier two horse to get ourselves a tier three. So let's check it out. Boom, we just got Franklin. We're gonna take Franklin out. Welcome, welcome to the team, Franklin. So there you guys go. That is our guide for capturing, finding horses in this game. If this guide helped out at all, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Black Desert Mobile videos coming in the future. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.